Hello everybody, today we're talking about setbacks and what to do about your deadlift. So I had a guy, even recently, who had, you know, he did some warm-up sets, he felt fine, and then he did four reps of deadlift with a submaximal, pretty moderately easy weight, and then he had a back injury. So what are you gonna do? How do you deal with that setback? Not you as a trainer, but you as a lifter. Uh, that's who I'm talking to today. So what I want to illustrate to everyone is the major principle we need is perseverance. These setbacks should be expected, right? We know that not every time that we lift, everything is gonna be perfect. And in fact, there is no perfect. If you are exposed to different scenarios, you become stronger. You become, as uh, Nassim Taleb says, anti-fragile, right? You grow even further if you can't predict everything that's going to happen with a deadlift. Now, what I mean by perseverance is it's not the the concept of just doubling down. So I have back pain and I need to lift harder. Like that is not going to be your answer. But what you do need to understand is that long-term training can be supportive of this. You don't have to deadlift every day. You don't even have to deadlift heavy ever, you know. But at some point in your life, you're probably going to need to pick something up and it's a good pattern to learn, right? And so if I, if I find out that uh, if I do deadlifts, I'm more likely to hurt my back. And if I re-instill that thought, if, I, if it becomes a vicious cycle and I say, my back is just not good at deadlifting, that puts brakes on you, right? That limits your potential. And I, I think a lot of people do really, really well with them as long as they do them correctly, as long as they're feeling their hamstrings, as long as they finish with their glute muscles. And so if you're finding that you can't do those things and deadlifting only tires out your back, then maybe it's time to take the weight back down. Maybe we move to a kettlebell variation. Maybe we add some sort of band that pulls you some sort of way that helps re-instill some of the correct or some of the more desirable, I guess is a better way to put it, uh, patterns and muscular activation that you're looking for. Okay, so for my client right now, we're gonna avoid deadlifts because that is a scary thing for him right now. And we need to gradually reinforce reintroduce this exercise over a longer period of time and that's okay we can take our time we have nothing but time right and we're going to find other ways to work out right we're going to do single leg stuff we're not going to load the back so much we're going to try to take that steep curve out of his low back and we're going to see if these things support you in your deadlift support him in his deadlift and and then create this this body and this resilient mind that can deal with all these things but we're gonna have to do it one little step at a time and he's gonna have to persevere